Beaufort County Schools has been without an official superintendent since May of 2018. Eight months later, they finally welcomed a newcomer to the position. WNCT's Kara Gann met with him today, and she joins us in the studio with more. Hi, Kara. Hi guys, Ken Shayla. I visited Matthew Cheeseman today in his office to learn more about him. He tells me that he's very excited about this new role, and he also shared with me some of his goals as he takes on the new position. Matthew Cheeseman has spent the greater portion of his life in education. It's been about 22, 23 years, so it's been pretty exciting. Cheeseman makes his way south to Beaufort County from Perquimans County. But before that, he served as the chief administrative officer at Washington County Schools. He says working in different school districts has been an advantage for him. When you go from uh, different school districts, you find different programs. You find different opportunities that you can put forward for students. Uh, based on their interests and their family interests and the community interests. And though he has only held the title of superintendent for nine days, he is already working to make Beaufort County schools better. You want to make sure that you provide them a world-class 21st century public school education. First and foremost is to get to know the people around you. Cheeseman says it's important to understand the barriers employees are facing. And those employees can be teachers, teacher assistants, custodians, counselors, media coordinators, um, maintenance workers, whoever the employee is, what has their work experience been like and how can you try to sustain it or improve it for them? Essentially, you're trying to be very responsive to the people's voice. School safety is also one of his top priorities. My most immediate sense is to make sure that our schools are safe and we have the appropriate measures in place to keep them that way. Limited resources for teachers and students is a challenge he wants to tackle. In some places of the country, they're plentiful, and in some places, they're not. Not every family has the internet at home, and not every family has broadband going to their regions. He said in this new year, he hopes to help all of the schools grow in a forward direction, academically and professionally. In the studio, Caragan 9 on your side.